Who am I? <laughs> Who am I? <sighs> how do I know myself? How how the how can I possibly know myself? Can I even know myself? Please, I, I just want to know. I just want to know who I am. Could, could you just help me out? I, I don't know. I don't know. This sounds no weird, but, but <laughs> come on, come on, help me out. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I knew she's here. So, you want to know yourself? Hmm. Can we actually know ourselves? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. But let's say that we do. That we do know ourselves. What do we actually know? I feel like most of us, a lot of us, what we know of ourselves is really just an attachment or attachments, identifications. It's when we identify with things that aren't really even us. If, for instance, we say, let's say, that we are not the mind, nor we are the body. We are not the mind, and we are not the body. We are not our thoughts, our emotions, our appearances. If we say that, then what else can we be? When we, when whatever we think of ourselves are those things, and let's say that we're not, we're not our thoughts, our emotions, our appearance. We're not the mind, no, we are the body. Then what is left? Can you think? I'm trying to think too. What could be left? I don't know. But I feel like there is something that is left. When we detach from these attachments and identities, the preconceived identities that we have, that we have of ourselves. We can see that under all of this, there's nothing. And whenever we say that we know ourselves, that we know, if we say that we know, that means that we have come to a stop, a halt, a stop sign, a conclusion. But can we really be concluded? We're always growing, experiencing. So the moment we say that we know, we are putting a pause on ourselves. And with this pause comes a restriction. It doesn't let us open and explore to our true potential. And knowing us humans, we don't get satisfied. So we will always want more and more and more. 
of ourselves, to know ourselves. So is it really possible to know ourselves totally and completely? Or can we actually know ourselves in phases, in stages? Is it even possible to know in that same moment? Or are we a continuous, infinite process of knowing that will never be settled? And that will never have a true conclusion. So it's just something to think about. All right, y'all. Because a lot of us may be asking, who am I? How can I truly know myself? And so, with that, remember, just live. Love, be you, daddy. You're all I wish. And remember, just live. I'll just repeat it there. So stay tuned for weekly videos. Every couple of times a week. Or every week. And connect with me on social media. I'll put the links down below. On the Ayush way. And Bush Gains. So with that, just live. And remember, to also coexist. So with that, <laughs>